right, here we go again, guys. This is Shane and Michelle with Take 10. Uh, we're going to do our Golden Bachelor Episode 2, Who Went Home, the highs, the lows, the exciting moments. Michelle, what do you got going on on your side? Oh, yeah. I'm excited to talk about Episode 2. Hopefully, everyone watched Episode 1. I mean, this is a brand new, never done before series. Um, so hopefully everyone has been following along. And so a plug for our episode one, I didn't know what to expect with this one. I didn't. Um, but I thought it was very, again, heartfelt and emotional. The stories. Um, what did you think about the, the date card that went to so Teresa? Funny. They were like, they were almost like they'd never seen the show before. Like they put the card down. They're like, what is that? <laughs> I know. I know. And they were like, nobody wanted to open it. So they finally opened it and it was a one person date, which was quite interesting. And I thought it was sweet that another lady helped do her hair and she was trying to tell her how to do her hair. And she's like, lady. I've been doing this for 35 years. Oh, yes, yes. She was a hairdresser. She's hilarious. Um, Teresa is a widow from New Jersey. So yep. she got the date card. She wanted that date card. I mean, remember her she in did. the very first episode? Yes, she did. Um, so I thought it was really sweet. He took her to a diner, but Shane, I mean, you and I can imagine. Can you imagine being in a convertible after we spent an hour doing our hair and makeup? Well, and I tell you what, that car, it was, I, I, I was hoping somebody was around them because the lights didn't work. He was, he'd never driven on the highway before in LA. And uh, was, the LA highway is not for an amateur. That is for sure. It is a, if he was on the 405, forget about it. It is yeah, crazy yeah. town. And uh, but I thought that was really sweet. Her, she put her hand on his shoulder and about like, you can do this, Gary, you can do this. So that yeah, was really and, her, and the poor lady, I wonder what she thought after she saw the show and she did her hair. <laughs> oh, I know. I know. Uh, so that was really funny. I thought that the interaction with them in the yeah. diner was very sweet. Was very sweet. similar stories. Almost the exact same age. I think she's 70. He's 72 now because he just had a birthday, which we'll talk about that. Um, just the chemistry. They danced. They kissed a lot. Yeah, I thought it was just the flash mob. And I'm sure it was all obviously pre-recorded. Oh, thought that was all. That part. I, that was her the dance. thing on there. I was like, it was so good. And then it was very contrived and scripted, the flash yeah. mob. Yeah. But um Anyway, so but that, that was, was that was cute. sweet. That was very cute, and the kissing was pretty intense. Oh yes, oh I yeah. Thought so yeah. first day out, everything. Well, they kissed. They kissed on the first episode too. Yeah. I, think yeah. Gary, yeah. I think Gary likes to kiss. I think that's mm. what. It was. Well, then All what? Right, then, Shane, what was ahead. the group date after that? Then group so. date was after that. The group then, date was twelve women that went on the group date, and do you remember they did a a romance novel cover shoot. Oh, that, yeah. Is yeah. what they did. 70s, and, 80s, yes. a wedding dress, which, you know, that's a little emotional, you know. That was tough. You know, it was, I, I thought the 70s outfits were, I thought Natasha, and that's, she rocked that 70s outfit. And um, the other gal got really, she wanted that outfit. I can't remember her name. Oh, she no, wasn't that the that was the uh, the motorcycle lady? She didn't want the eighty, but she wanted the seventies. Mo uh, motorcycle lady is Faith. Faith, Faith wasn't yeah. on the group date. Oh, she wasn't. Okay, well then, who was that one? I can't remember her name. She's the one who. She's oh my gosh, she's the one oh, Leslie. I okay, wrote it yes, down. Yeah, Leslie. She's the one who dated Prince. We talked about her. Oh in the yeah, first yeah, episode. yeah, yes, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, but rem he and Leslie. He called her a sexy woman. They had their little one-on-one -on -one time. They did. And, 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 and she whispered, no, he whispered sweet nothings he in did. her ear. He did whisper to her. I would love to know what he said. Um, but yeah, it was the part that I, you're right, it was difficult is when Nancy, uh, another uh, widow, 
put on the wedding dress and got visibly upset yeah. uh, because, you know, thinking back uh, about her husband and she's on the younger side. So, you know, I, I don't know if they went into what happened to him, but Gary's reaction to her and he pulled her aside. At yeah, the I end thought it was the, sweet. Oh, that was so sweet. Handed her a rose and she felt the, a good connection with him. So I think something's going to, simmer there a little bit. I I know that Teresa and Gary had a great interaction, but I think Nancy and Gary, we'll see. We'll see what what it goes how it goes. But um and, All right, then we oh, had the, the hearing aids. That's the other thing I was, I yeah. made a note of. Leslie yeah. had the hearing aids. Yeah. Yeah. Did, I did not expect that. Yeah, well, it's easy to, you know, when you have long hair, it's easy to hide. Yes, it. yes. Yeah. So so that was that was great. Yeah. Um, and then it was Gary's birthday. That was fun. That was, that was fun. That was fun. The birthday party. Um, we talked about April in the first episode. She's kind of the wild one. She's the one from Port St. Lucie. Yes. <laughs> she, only yes, from yes, Florida, yes. Right. Yeah. And I think she did a lap dance. Um, so I thought that was that was really funny. And, and then, then they had somebody coming out of the cake, the birthday oh cake. Oh my gosh, yeah, know. that was the hairdresser. Yeah. She came out of the cake. And then um the Ellen. Ellen was the one who lost her friend to cancer. Yes. And he had a framed picture of the two of them. I was sitting shocked on that. about that. Oh I my gosh. Really didn't expect that it was a beautiful, beautiful picture. But that's and, why, uh, that, you know, that's yeah. a picture. I was really surprised at that one. She's another one. You know, it's early days. It's early days. I said Nancy. I said Teresa. But I think Ellen um, is also uh, potentially in the running. Yeah. I, I think that they have a nice connection. Um, so and then. then what was what else stood out to you? Well, that uh, the the birthday celebration was very interesting, and then you know they tried to again try to take them to a side so they could try to get their you know one on one time before the rose ceremony. Right. So that you know that again, he was visibly shaken. You could he tell was yes he at was the rose very, ceremony very teary eyed because. I think just he's empathetic and caring. And he sent um, three women three. home. Mm -hmm. They did not make it. And Natasha was one of them. And she was just a hoot. She's the one that's the aging life coach. I think yes. we talked about yes. her in episode one. I um, think she'll be just fine, though. Yeah. Oh, she is already. <laughs> if you follow on social media, Natasha is in the spotlight and I saw, I watched it all the way to the end, the trailer, and I wrote down her quote. She said something about um, that they need to, the rose ceremony needs to happen in chairs because chairs. we're in our seconds. <laughs> I <laughs> saw that. They're all standing up in the fancy shoes and they just wanted to sit down. I saw so, that too. She had, there's chair aerobics or whatever. <laughs> yes. And, and the only other one that I wanted to call out who um, she got the first impression rose in episode one, and that's our motorcycle girl, Faith. Faith, yeah. Faith is 60, um, and she talked about she's just a real girl. She felt a little intimidated by, I think, the glamour of some of the women, she said, and he assured her that, you know, he was trying to calm her down. I thought they had a really good connection in the first episode. She was not featured much with him in the second. So time will tell what happens there. But I just think it's a fun journey. Um, it, it is. It has been fun. And I do believe he really is truly sincere. You know what I mean about his feelings and how he's going through it. And I think it's going to get harder and harder for him. I do. And you know, when you watch these things, they're filmed months in advance. He's already yeah. got the lot. He's already got her. They, they're of course, yeah. can't say a word. He's showing up on all kinds of shows and I see him on social media. He was just on the view. Um, oh. He's not, oh yeah. He's not saying a word. Uh, if right. he found love or not, I mean, he may have, he may have said that he did, but I, 
he's just keeping everything's under wraps as he has to, right? So yeah, but he yeah. certainly looked like a man that had a good ending. So well, that's good. We'll that's keep, good. We'll continue to predict. We invite everybody, please follow along with Shane and I. We're just doing this to have some fun. Um, we told you in episode one, we dabbled in The Bachelor. I think I've maybe dabbled. That would be strong for me. I probably saw two episodes in my whole life, and that was because there was some controversy with the rose. So I would tune in later, but never followed so it. So I will say one thing that did grab my, and this is on a man's perspective, he had two really cool cars. You see the the blue convertible that they went on the first date, and then he pulled in in that yellow convertible too. I don't know what that was. Those are yellow. his cars. No, no, no. I don't think they're the cars. But I'm just saying on a guy's note, you know, I mean, those are some pretty oh cool my cars gosh. to go on, on dates on. Absolutely, guys. You better bring it. You look at Gary and what he's driving and picking up these women. Uh, those were some they were really sweet. special cars. Yeah, they were um, sweet. But All right, warn me, well. Gary, warn me before you put me in a convertible so I know what to do with my hair. That's all I have <laughs> to say. Just, I know I felt so bad for her. Oh, my God. Yeah, I did, too. So we'll see how all these relationships developed. I think it's going to get more interesting, and I think it's going to get really dramatic. I know. I do, too. So we it shall is. see what we episode three brings. We shall see. So comment, like, share. Uh Please subscribe. We are going to follow this to the end. We who's your wanted favorite? To a, who's your yeah, favorite? we wanted to do a conversation. We want you to say who your favorite. You might have a favorite, and you may also have a prediction of who you think he's going to choose. Those may not be the same person. No. Um, and we would love to have anybody join us on a future episode. So if you have a heart for the Golden Bachelor, put a comment below. And Shane and I will reach out and make sure that we can um, get you scheduled. We think that would be a lot of fun. Absolutely. Okay. Well, Shane, I think that's a wrap for episode two. All right. Um, make all your moments magical. In Florida and beyond, love is in the air. Bachelor Nation. Bachelor Bye. Nation. <laughs>